All right, Coach, talk to me about the beginning of this Take me back to the beginning. It started out um, two years ago, and we had a, a very solid group of 12 U players, and we just said we wanted to keep those guys together. We, we saw a talent, we just saw something special in those kids. We were like, hey man, we had to keep this going because we know the middle school ball in the Jackson area is just not, it's not enough to develop these kids into what we see happening in other states. You know, here in Jackson, the kids are getting five games tops compared to these other states where they have a 13 and a 14 program. And those programs feed directly into their high schools. And that was just something that we wanted to be able to do here. So when we got those kids together and a lot of them started out, for, they tried out for FB and they, they couldn't afford to play FB. You know, it was at that time, you know, the price was kind of steep. And when those kids didn't get a chance because of the, the social economic issues that we come from, because, you know, if you come from Jackson, you understand the makeup, you know, it's a lot of single parent homes, uh, you know, the support systems aren't always in, the, in place in every home. So we just saw that opportunity to keep these kids together and we knew they were extremely talented. And we just challenged them to put the work in behind it. You know, they started off, they went and played their first game in a, in a big time tournament. And they snuck the number 17 in the country at that time. So we, that really told us like, okay, this this has the potential to be serious. And they lost the game in the championship. Um, we came back, saw that same team, I want to say two months later and in the same, in another tournament in the same city. That same team that had beat us 27 to six, played them twice and they didn't cross the 50 either game. So, you know, that was something that just really, it, it locked everything into us. Like a date, you always see our kids sharing the date, 48-17. That was the day that this originated. That's when we officially became, you know, it's like almost a family or a brotherhood. So from that time on, these kids locked in and dedicated themselves to getting better and they started bringing their own friends in, you know, we don't charge a fee for the team. So our whole thing was, you know, you can't buy your way onto this team. This team won't be about money. It's going to be about heart. It's going to be about desire. It's going to be about who, who wants it the most. You know, one thing we always quote our, our chant is PDR, pride, determination and resilience. And, you know, the kids that come out here and come out of our program, they understand that and they can show that going forward. But, you know, they play with pride on the field. They play with determination. And when we're down, we're not going to paddle and just lay down. We're going to show some resiliency and fight back. So that's just what we wanted to do. All right. So let's jump back into a more personal group. Okay. Um, honestly, this is just, I hadn't been coaching long. This is still this is my fifth year coaching period but you know seeing what other people were doing and the opportunities they were providing out of the state it made me want to challenge myself to you know I, I just couldn't look at my kids and say okay they got to get bigger they got to get faster I looked at myself I was like no my schemes have to improve I have to put these kids in position I need to teach them things so when they leave this program they can walk straight into a high school program and be ready to compete the only thing they should be behind on should be the physical part of the game when these kids come in with us they're gonna know if you're a, a defensive lineman, my goal is for you, when you first come out there, you're gonna understand your techniques. You'll know how to line up zero through nine. You'll know where you fit into that. If you're a linebacker and the coach tells you, hey, I need you to line in a 10, I need you to line in a 30, or he just screams out, hey, I need you guys to get in the over front. These kids, will they will understand that. And when they hear over front, they'll know, okay, three tech to the strong side. It's, these are things that are, I feel like will help these kids walk in and be ready to play early because coach doesn't have to sit there and explain the technique and why we're doing things. If I know that mentally, coach can just go ahead and take me to the next level and help me to up my game. So just seeing things like that and, and look, honestly, every time we haven't lost a lot, but every time I lose, it's a learning lesson for me. So it, it taught me, okay, my gap, I need to be more um, gap sound in my defenses. My kids need to have our checks down back. You know, it, it just challenged me. The national level challenged me to be a better coach and made me want to go out and do more studying just to make sure that when we step on the field that my guys are fully prepared to play and I know I've done everything that I can do.
because you talk to me about the role of the church. Talk to me about the community. I heard a big part of the people in prayer. She loved the conversation. So just talk to me what happened and what happened. To be honest with you, what kept the momentum rolling is, you know, I just had an idea of how to make this brand stronger. So that's where the whole WPG came from. I wanted to come up with a moniker that could be, you know, pretty much, you know, that would ring bells throughout the city. So that's when we started the, the, our social media push. That our social media push had a lot to do with it, to be honest with you, because we, okay, the WPG, we called ourselves the Wolfpack Gang, and we put 40, 48, 17, and that was the date that we started. Because to be honest with you, you know, we have a lot of inner city kids. So a lot of these kids came here with talking about this gang, that gang. And we, when they came here, we was like, look, there's no blue, there's no red. The only color we care about is orange, it's neutral. So when you come into this is, hey, whatever you were doing outside of that, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what team you came from. It doesn't matter if you're from the north side, the south side, if you're from Canton, Vicksburg, or whatever. It's with the Mississippi Wolfpack, not the Jackson Wolfpack. So that also helped make it stronger because other kids didn't feel like, okay, I have to sacrifice my identity. No, come rep your team to the fielders. Love your city. But when we step out here together, Mississippi as a whole is being disrespected. So that was the focus. So we had a bunch of kids with a like mind to come in and stick together. They dedicated themselves to weekends, working out hard, being practicing hard, being pushed to their limits. They, I'm talking about days, they calling us, coach, I'm bored. Let's work out. And I'm like, cool, let's, let's go get it. And when you, see, when you get a kid that will dedicate themselves like that at such an early age and understand the importance of it, I mean, how can you not lock into it? All right, so what would not imagine? Let's sit here a couple days away. Um, what's the thing? Right now, we're just trying to develop a, a new wave of talent. And most importantly, we have to show people that this was not a one hit one. That was a, that's always been my thing. We have to keep developing players at the same high level. They need to keep leaving our program and going to be successful once they get to the high school. And after a few years, like I know right now, we don't have any sponsors. We don't have any back. It, you know, it, we just a, a, a team. We just struggle and, and we do what we can. We, you know, we fundraise. We we go fund. I'm pretty sure people, if you're my Facebook friend, you got tired of seeing me share our cash up, begging for money. But that's what we had to do to get. To to where we want to go because like I said we know the economic makeup of our city and if we just came out and it was strictly about money you're not going to get the best kids because sometimes the best kids sit in the neighborhood and he doesn't have that outlet you know every parent can't pay four and five hundred dollars for their kid to go and play on a elite team but with us if you come out and you show the, the heart and the want to and the dedication you make this team because we, we don't cut guys. Guys tend to cut themselves. You know, the workload isn't enough for everybody. Some people can't understand that I, I'm not gonna get as much playing time as I'm used to. Like I tell these guys, this could be like your first taste of what college football could be like because every kid out here was the man on that team. Every kid out here was good in their area or might have been the man in their league. So just when you come in like, hey coach, I played everything. For I was our MVP, I was like, cool. So are those four guys over there. <laughs> you gotta come play ball, man. You can't you can't rest on your merits and what you did the year before.